Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. If you're familiar with Keyshot Web Viewer, then you'll be happy to know that our latest version expands on an already robust feature set, providing you an even easier way of communicating your projects to both internal and external stakeholders. In our latest release, we've added some performance updates that make viewing your scenes faster, but most noticeably, we've streamlined the UI and added Keyshot 360 to the Web Viewer. Let's start with a quick overview of the updated UI, starting with our upload window inside Keyshot. Overall, the upload window remains largely unchanged, other than the Keyshot 360 section, which allows you to attach a Keyshot XR you've previously created. After creating an XR by either using the Keyshot XR wizard on the bottom toolbar, or outputting an XR through the render window, you can either drag and drop the files into the field, or you can browse for the file and attach it through the file browser. There are no limitations to the number of XRs that can be attached to a web viewer upload, but it's important to keep in mind that the more XRs that are attached, the longer it may take to load the file. With the XR attached, if the rest of your settings have been adjusted to your liking, you're ready to publish the content to Keyshot Drive and view it in the Keyshot web viewer by hitting the upload button on the bottom right of the window. You can then access your published content through the link that appears in the window, or by visiting Keyshot Cloud Library, navigating to the My Scenes tab, and viewing it from there. Note that adding images or a Keyshot 360 is not a required step. If you do not have an XR you wish to publish, you can publish your scene without adding anything to this section. Once your scene is published, and you've opened it in Keyshot Web Viewer, you'll be greeted with the updated Web Viewer interface. If you're already familiar with Keyshot Web Viewer, you should still be able to find your way around relatively easily, but there are a few changes and usability updates that I'd like to highlight. For one, now we have a tab system along the left that lets you quickly navigate between viewports. Currently, our main Web Viewer viewing port is open. This is found under the 3D tab. Below that, we also have our Images tab for any support imagery that was attached. And lastly, we have the Keyshot 360 tab, where you can find any Keyshot XRs that were packaged with your upload. You may notice that we have also done away with the hamburger menu on the top left, and with it, remove the tumble, pan, and dolly camera controls, as well as the performance test button to further optimize the web viewer experience. However, you can still access the screenshot feature and our web viewer visual quality settings through the gear icon at the bottom left of the screen. I'm currently on high quality, but I'm going to switch that to standard to show you the difference. This is a great solution for any recipients who may be using less powerful devices for viewing. Aside from that, the component, material, camera, and environment variations can still be found in the same location, but something important to note with the latest web viewer, Keyshot automatically creates configurations from your model sets, cameras, and multi-materials to populate this area. This means less setup and faster sharing of your scenes or designs. Beyond that, the AR and VR buttons remain in the same location as before. Now let's move over to the Images tab. Once selected, you'll notice that we have a thumbnail gallery just to the right of the tabs, which can be toggled on and off. This is a new addition that makes for faster navigation and an overall better user experience. And this is a great opportunity for me to point out the included CMF image. The image section not only serves as an excellent way to supplement your web viewer scene with high quality imagery, but it also serves as a great location for supplementary data, such as sketches, or in this case, CMF documentation. And of course, you can still cycle through the gallery using the arrows along the bottom of the viewport. And lastly, our biggest update to the web viewer, Keyshot 360. By selecting the 360 tab along the left, your attached 360 files will load and allow you to interactively rotate the 360 animation. As I mentioned earlier, 360s are created by uploading Keyshot XRs to the Web Viewer upload window, and an XR is essentially a series of still images that, when interacted with, create an almost stop motion like animation. This just serves as another method for you to deliver high quality interactive data to your recipients. As a whole, Keyshot Web Viewer is an incredibly useful tool that lets you take the power of Keyshot visualization and deliver it to stakeholders globally. I highly recommend giving it a try and seeing firsthand the value it brings to your product pipeline. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this feature in the comment section below.